Now we're going to take the dura mater off. So using your dissecting scissors, start at the anterior end and slide the scissors underneath the dura. And always make sure to be pulling upward and away from the brain so that you don't um, damage the brain. So I'm going to make this cut through the dura mater up through the mid-sagittal plane here. And it's very, it's very important to not pull uh, the dura mater um, because what will end up happening if you, if you pull the dura mater, um, you may end up pulling off cranial nerves. Um, so we can do, we'll go to about here. And there is some uh, tough connective tissue right here called false cerebri and tentorium cerebelli here. And we can cut through that a little bit later. So we did um, our first cut through the dura mater on the dorsal surface, and now I want to flip it over and pay special attention to the ventral surface because the dissection becomes a lot more complicated. So I want to be careful to avoid um, any of the cranial nerves. Here I have the optic chiasm, and the dura mater is surrounding um, this uh, optic nerve here and this optic nerve completely surrounded. So I want to make sure that I'm cutting through the dura um, carefully so that I can free up those optic nerves um, and make sure that they stay intact. So I'm going just sliding the scissors up just between the dura and the nerve itself. And remember, you don't want to pull. Small cuts will make the dissection more successful. So you can free up one here. This one's a little tougher. There's another nerve right here. This is the ocular motor nerve. And you want to cut this as far away from the brain as possible so that you get the, the length of it. There should be another one on the other side. It looks kind of like a flat strap. This nerve right here is, is part of the trigeminal nerve, and this is another branch of it. It's quite long, so I'm comfortable with just cutting it to about here, so I can cut off this extra piece. Your brain might have less trigeminal nerve, so you're going to have to make that judgment call. cutting between the trigeminal nerve and the pituitary gland. Here's the pituitary gland. At this point, the pituitary gland will come away from the brain. Most likely it won't uh, remain attached to the brain.
be very careful with any extra cranial nerves here. They get very small and fine as you go toward the posterior. So if you're not sure of something, just ask your instructor before you cut. I'm going to turn the brain over to the dorsal side. Okay, and we've just removed the dura mater. Notice that the brain no longer has the pituitary gland.